Welcome to the MIW installation video. I'm Marshall Courier. Behind me is the MIW Surge. This is our in-wall surge protection solution, great for flat panel displays, front projectors, even subwoofers. On the left here you can see it has a high voltage single gang box behind it there behind the wall. We've got a pass-through port for keystone solutions, decor plate options, or just a, a rubber grommet if you wanted to use the pass-through there. This MIW Surge is part of a two-product family. Um, this particular model features in-wall protection and must be installed by a high-voltage licensed electrician. The MIW uh, Surge and XT are both code compliant, CSA US code compliant, and the MIW XT actually features um, remote power distribution from the rack to the flat panel. The MIW Surge is an in-wall protection solution. Here in the next few minutes, we're going to walk you through a real basic installation video going through step by step all the various instructions. And before we start cutting holes in the wall or terminating Romex, we need to talk about safety. So triple check that all of the circuit breakers are turned off to this end of the house, to this room, to this branch circuit, and let's make sure to use all the proper safety precautions before we get started. Now that that's out of the way, let's go have some fun. I have my wonderful tools here for my installation, my drywall saw, my pencil for note taking, my screwdriver, as well as the always important high voltage outlet box because uh, this is not included in the uh, MIW Surge or MIW XT packaging. Uh, on the packaging, we actually discuss uh, what we recommend in terms of new work boxes or old work retrofit boxes. So do uh, take a look at that and visit our product web page for more information on which model numbers uh, we like and don't really like in terms of comp compatibility. So I've op opened my box up here and I've got all kinds of goodies. The MIW Surge itself, the XT is going to have a bit of a different chassis or housing, but the MIW Surge is there. We have our mounting bracket here and this signal bay cage is optional depending on what uh, low voltage adapters or connectors you wish to use. If you wish to use the grommet and you want to leave the signal bay cage installed as it comes out of the box, you can do that. If you'd like to use our keystone ports, we include two keystone ports there in the box and that looks really nice having two HDMI or an HDMI and a ballon pass through or a Cat5 right there on the faceplate, and you can recess that uh, up to an inch there inside the signal bay cage. If you use the Decor adapter, which we also include with the MIW Surge and XT, the Decor ring adapter will replace the signal bay cage. So you may not use a Decor adapter and recess it. The Decor adapter by itself would allow you to use a variety of Decor solutions. Well, of course, we have our wire nuts. We have our faceplate screws and then the all important template. And I'll be using this to draw my uh, hole in the drywall and then cut it right through. So let's go ahead and draw our faceplate opening using my template four inches wide. Now you would want to use a level just in case you want to get that hole perfectly level, especially if you're up high off the ground for a flat panel display. Other applications for the MIW XT or Surge, of course, would be subwoofers, front projectors, a variety of variety of applications. Let me get that bottom just right here. Now that I have my drywall sizing. Want to prevent that from falling back into the back into the wall, and there we go. Not the most perfect of squares, but I'm sure my kindergarten teacher would approve. In step three, we're going to be installing our outlet box, pulling the Romex through, and uh, installing it to that half of the of the hole in the drywall. Before we do any of that, we have to make sure and triple check that the electricity has been disconnected through this end of the building, whether it's uh, this branch circuit, all neighboring branch circuits, additional safety precautions have to be taken. Whether it's the MIW XT and it's a dead circuit in between two outlet boxes, or in this case, the MIW Surge, which is connected to the service panel. We can't stress that enough. 
that additional safety precautions have to be taken. So we're going to take our Romex, snake it through our electrical box. This Romex happens to come pre pre-baked or all, ni all nice and ready. My height in there. Got plenty of Romex. Outlet box is in place. Nice and snug. All right. That was steps three, four, and five. Now we're moving on to step six. And step six is to install the low voltage signal bay and mounting bracket to the electrical box. Nice and snug. It does help to use a level to make sure everything is evenly lined up. As we complete step six and step seven, step seven is installing the uh, mounting bracket. We're going to move on to step eight. And for step eight, we need our wire nuts and we need a few of the faceplate screws. Step eight and step nine, we want to fold the wire nuts and dress all of the wire into the enclosure, into the outlet box so it's nice and tight. It's going to fit without issue. So as we're finishing up step eight and step nine, which is to dress all the wire in the enclosure and make sure that uh, it's going to fit nice and snug and confirming that all the connectors, line neutral and ground, are uh, all tight and secure, we can go ahead and slide that faceplate onto the front. Let's go ahead and add these front faceplate screws in step 10. So I'm rounding out here, step number 10, and ins installing these faceplate screws. Everything is looking fairly nice and level, considering that I didn't use a level to balance it out. <clears throat> My low voltage box looks good. I can move that back and forth just to be sure. Outlet looks good, nice and secure in, in the wall there. And let's go ahead and test it. Make sure our line neutral and ground with our outlet tester, everything's wired up properly after we energize the circuit. Now that we tested the outlet, everything looks good from a safety standpoint. We can install a variety of signal side options. We include in the box our two port keystone adapter that would fit right in here like so. And because the signal bay cage, I left that on, I can actually recess that, that two port keystone adapter. I could use my grommet, I actually cut a hole in my grommet here so I could slide through an HDMI connector, a Balan uh, Ethernet connector, and then of course I, I'm going to go ahead and put on my right angle included adapter, my little pigtail adapter, which gives me less than an inch of depth for great flat panel options or a variety of front projection or subwoofer options too. So wonderful solutions here with the MIW Surge, and that was a brief installation video. I hope you visit the product page for some more product details and additional instructions. Thank you so much.